We all know Guring for solid rotating tools, but this is completely different from Guring, isn't it? Absolutely right, yes. I mean, back in 2016, uh, we decided to launch this range of uh, grooving tools, um, about 4,000 articles at that stage. A year later, 2017, we added another 3,000 articles, and uh, now we've just uh, launched, we're going to launch into 2019, uh, an expanded range of these tools. So yeah, you're quite right, Joe. Um, we've been producing rotating tools for 100 years, and um, now we've got um, a, a range of uh, stationary tools. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why now, and why, go um, why grooving? Well, grooving, it was quite an easy sort of jump forward, really, because we make our, all our own um, solid carbide uh, bar. So um, obviously we make drills and reamers and taps from, the, from this material. So it was quite an easy sort of uh, jump. I'm not quite sure why it's not been done before, but to be, uh, to be honest, um, just to grind up a variety of uh, boring and profiling and grooving mm. bars. Um, so yeah, it was uh, quite an mm. easy move for us to go into this, into this field. Mm. And there's a lot of strong companies already in this space. So, so how have you found that, you know, that transition? Well, obviously, like everything, it will, you know, it takes a while to build up, but this has been well received. I mean, the name Gurin is, is well respected out there. So, uh, yeah, this has been a, a phenomenal success for us, and this will only just grow and grow, um, like we will see in a minute, and we're sort of expanding it um, all the time, really. Uh, but there's a lot of features, really, on these tools um, that the customer will find very interesting. Such as? Well, the features, um, such as the... Um, Bars themselves are ground uh, on the back, the actual location, and it's uh, on a ground pin. So these actually fit in extremely accurately, uh, about 20 micron repeatability. Uh, and the other thing you can actually do, which I think, again, is uh, very useful to customers, is that they can actually rotate this uh, 180 degrees, drop it back in, not touch the holder, and it'll still be on center line. So that's one feature. Um, the other key thing, really, you can see uh, on the end is the uh, through coolant holes. So we actually introduce through coolant uh, through some large holes, so you get lots of volume, you get lots of pressure, like a curtain of uh, coolant down the side. The benefit of that to the customer is obviously swarf control and tool life. Um, so this is uh, something that uh, our competitors um, haven't done really. So obviously the big, you're absolutely right, when you're doing internal grooving or boring, the evacuating that swarf and the machine in environments, you know, that is, you know that you know you've got to do it. So, do you think it's better doing it through the sleeve, the tool holder, rather than the actual bar itself? Well, absolutely. We've done a lot, lot of uh, work's been done on this. A uh, lot of work by our R and D. Uh, and yeah, I mean, I've seen, I've seen it. I've sold it out in the field, and the, the amount of coolant you get through these holes is fantastic. And I say you can literally you don't get this mm. sort of uh, bird's nesting swarf issue. You know, particularly on small small bores. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, so it's um, I think it's uh, an important uh, feature to this tool. Okay, and we've talked, there's, there's four products here, isn't there? It's a bit of a display kit. But where does the grooving product start and where does it end? You know, do we do face grooving, external, internal? The, in the existing range, we say that the, the range was um, brought out with three products, really, which is the 104, uh, so-called, because the one is the single edge with a, f a four mil uh, shank. Then the 106, uh, again, single edge, but with a six mil shank. And then the 305, um, so called because it's a triangular, so three mm -hmm. cutting edges, and, and the five relates to the depth, the maximum depth of um, groove we can do with the 305 system, which is um, sort of an internal and external system. Mm -hmm. And I believe you've gone large now. Is it an, an eight mil? Absolutely right. Is, that, is that needed? That's a big lump of carbon. Yeah. Well, again, we've we've been asked for it, so this is yeah, this is something we've produced now. So yeah, we've basically got the 108 series. This is what's coming out in the new catalogue and uh, also uh, a 10 we've actually got now. We make the, uh, um, the same system with a 10 mil, which is obviously for long overhangs and larger, larger work. Mm -hmm. And in terms of growing the support, obviously you're known for drilling, tapping and milling. This is new to you guys. Have you got product managers in, spa in, in place? And yeah, absolutely right. And uh, yeah, we've got uh, product managers over in Germany. And uh, also, as it happens this week, we've got uh, some of our uh, friends from all over the world actually coming over to Birmingham and uh, they're actually getting the grooving training from the guys in, in Germany, so that's happening this week. And you see, just finally, you see this evolving. I know you're still quite new in this market, but you see it evolving, growing. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, I mean, it's to say it's been such a success that, um, yeah, it will only do that. I mean, it's going to grow year on year. Mm. So one thing that's fairly unique to you guys is the wiper, isn't it? Absolutely. You know, just tell the viewers about your wiper. 
Well, the wiper insert we introduced back in 2016 uh, with the 104 and the 106 series, so we've had it a while. And as, as you rightly said, we believe it's quite unique. Um, wipers have, say, been used for mainly for getting uh, decent or very good surface finishes on parts. Uh, or you can actually wind the feed rate up so you get more productivity and get the same sort of surface finish. Uh, but what I've found since I've been out selling it in the last couple of years, uh, the other benefit of a wiper is actually the way it holds size. Um, so yeah, we've actually got wiper on the 104 and, and the 106 and uh, it can hold 15, 20 micron size uh, very consistently. And mm. I've even got a customer now um, who had a lot of trouble holding that, this, that type of uh, tolerance now running lights out. With, the, uh, with our wiper system. So I think it's a fantastic uh, uh, part of our uh, range. Mm -hmm. So increased surface finish, better tolerance, and no loss of pro productivity. Absolutely, yeah. As I say, it's, um, I think it's a, a no-brainer, really. It's, and it's not that expensive, and it's a superb tool. So if you've got any, any work out there that needs a good surface finish or you're holding a tight tolerance, Use, use the wipers. Mm -hmm. So there we have it. If you want to learn more about the Goering uh, grooving product or the wiper or, or pretty much any grooving product, get in touch with the team over at Goering.